need my HGH! Dude, remember that old video? Back in the day. Video was epic. All right, let's go over HGH. Human growth hormones, somatropin. <clears throat> I have 15 IU units, files, okay? So reading Jay, uh, Jay Campbell's protocol, he says he was able to do a safe anti-aging protocol that keeps his own body producing <clears throat> HGH uh, by using 1.5 1.5 units five times a week. All right, and then you take rest for two days, obviously. So you can break that five times up a week, however you want, Monday through Friday, or uh, you know, two days on, one day off, whatever, however you want to do it. Okay, so basically, this isn't a peptide. All right, this is a hormone replacement therapy. All right, so. When you do take HGH, your own supply will shut down, kind of like testosterone therapy. Your own supply, your own supply uh, production will will slow down unless you utilize like HCG or clomid, clomid or some other stuff like that <clears throat> to keep your body producing. But he says he was able to do with blood tests. If he does a low dose of HGH, 1.5 units, five times five times a week, he was able to. It didn't affect his own production, which is pretty cool. So here's how we're gonna mix it up. One cc, my favorite, one cc of back water, AK 100 units to the vial. And then we're gonna dose with a 0 .33, 0 .3 cc syringe, inject 10 units for 1.5 units. So one vial, a 15 unit vial will last you, uh, will last 10 injections of about two weeks, all right? So let me show you on a calculator. <clears throat> Now, a calculator is not going to give you units here, but since we're, do we're dosed uh, 15 units supplied in and we're dosing 1.5 units, we could just, it's interchangeable. So it's the same thing. If it's 15 milligrams, 1.5 milligrams, it could be interchangeable. We're going to do 1 cc, backwater, bam. Nail it again. 10 units, all right? Let's do it. Mix it up. <clears throat> Stand, camera stand. Here we go. Here we go. We got HGH 15 IUs units, anti aging. All right, got the Nirvana the tree going out of this dude's head. <clears throat> Same process as always, guys. Pop the top here. Sterilize, sterilize, all right. Take our one cc syringe. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Pull back. 100 units of air, one cc of air. Put 100 in of air. Pull back one cc of your bacterial set water. Remember, I always put the uh, protocol in the uh, video description. You know, if I remember, I put the calculator on there too. I like that calculator better because the other calculator I had it had automatic it was micrograms. So you had to do converting, which is confusing a lot of people. All right, so that's it. So we already wiped this. Do it again. All right. Come on, focus. What the hell's going on here? Well. Easy enough, whatever. That's it, man. It's in. <clears throat> All right. Since these plungers are hard to pull out on these 1cc syringe, what I'll do is I'll take my 0.3c syringe. These are easy, All right? These are sterile. So I'm going to equalize the pressure in this vial real quick. All right, just pull this out. 
All right, now the pressure's equal in here. All right, so now when this mixes up, which this one mixes up pretty quick, all you're gonna do, since your dose is 10 units, you're gonna put 10 units of air in and then draw back 10 units and then boom but then I'll be ready to inject but I'm gonna let that sit around for a little bit and finish mixing up until then have a good day peptide fam talk to you later